Hello everyone, it's me Stephen Ang here again. So today I would like to discuss how the current situation is affecting my work specifically. I've shared in the past about feeling a general sense of helplessness and frustrations that these restrictions bring, something which I feel that everyone here you know, can relate to, regardless of your profession or your background. Yeah. However, it is also affecting my livelihood in a very realistic way. The students that I teach are children and teens at my school, Medicine Academy of Music, and adults at my own private studio. Some of these adults love karaoke and they take group singing lessons at community centres, really more for socialising and learning songs rather than learning how to sing you know, with technique per se. However, a handful of these senior folks would look for singing teachers, singing technique teachers privately so that they can train their voices well and give their friends in these group classes a surprise, right? Make, uh, it, it, makes it, it makes it appear that they've been working very hard, which of course they have, you know, because they've also been, been taking technique lessons privately. Some of them are even stars of their respective CCs. They are often asked to perform for ministers during events and even loaned out to other CCs on, on various occasions. Of course, now that these group classes are conducted on Zoom, which really is no fun when one is looking to socialize, there is also less need for this demographic of students to come for class, you know, to take private technique lessons and so on. So, wah wah. And then another group of adult students that I have are, are middle and senior managers of big firms, including banks, shipping companies and such. Every year around Chinese New Year, they have these dinner and dances to attend. You know, it's something that's very close to our Chinese culture. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the companies will kind of throw these big parties that everyone gets to take part in. And often there are, there is karaoke involved. Yeah, so, so then these managers, right, their subordinates will kind of like sabo them by making them sing karaoke. There's this one particular manager uh, who, 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 who is often asked to do so by his subordinates, mostly I think because he is a good sport and also because he was a terrible singer. Emphasis is on was, you know. He used to be like all out of tune and such before he came, he came to me for lessons. But after a year of classes, suffice to say that everyone in his company had a really big surprise at the next Chinese New Year D&D, which happened to be the one, you know, just before COVID hit. Of course, now that we can't have D&Ds anymore, these managers also don't feel the need to take singing lessons anymore. So, wah wah again, right? Yeah, so you see, I actually consider myself lucky during the height of the pandemic last year as I could pretty much continue doing what I usually do, just adjusting for an online medium. However, as, as these restrictions continue, it's impossible to retain even our current business levels, you know, much less to pick up where we left off. So since I have so much free time right now, I thought I'll present another song for you guys. This is Tan Yuan Ren Chang Qiu, a song that was popularized in the 70s by Teresa Ting and again in <clears throat> my generation by Fei Wong in the 90s. I love the poetic beauty of the lyrics and I hope that you'll enjoy my rendition of it. Oh 
相边，是缘。人有悲欢离合，月有阴晴圆缺，此事古难全。但。转朱阁，低泣孤棹不眠。不应有恨，何时长相别？是缘，别是缘。人有悲。Thank you.